Nathan, how's it going, man? Connor Holt here with Wilson Moto. Just want to put a face to the name more than that email I sent you this morning. This here behind me is the 2013 Ford Focus SE that you inquired about, and I just wanted to just walk around video since you guys aren't here in town. Hopefully, it's something you guys look at and you like, and you want to come up and see in person. Um, keep in mind, it is a 10 year old car, it is a pre owned car. It has been driven for a lot of miles, about 132, I think, is on what's on there. I'll, I'll verify that for you once we get in there. And we'll kind of go about that. Let me do a little walk around with you, show you the outside, inside, and let's uh, let's go. So, um, as you see, there's a big storm coming. So hopefully, I can get this done before we get poured on. Um, it is obviously dirty on the outside because of all the rain we've had, and I'm not going to wash it today because the, the storm. Um, but there are there are definitely a few scratches and a couple little dings and dents, and I'll show you those. So first off, right up here on the front bumper, you can see right here there are some scratches here. Um, these are just normal halogen lights. This is the yellow lights. The, this one here on the left side, the driver's side, is a little bit foggy, but could be used with, uh, you can polish it up and it can be shiny just like this side right here. Um, just keep walking around. This is going to be what your Ford wheel looks like. It's just the average wheel. It is an actual alloy wheel, though. It's not just like a little steel wheel with a cover on it. So that's the actual wheel there. And it's got a lot of uh, tread on these tires, and they're, they're brand new for the, uh, the tires so they're not like off-roading tires obviously because it's a, it's a car a um, couple little dings and dents here in the door right here um let's go back here to the back side there are a couple scratches out here on the back of the bumper so right here you got some scratches a couple scratches on top up here um you got some scratches over here on the side a little like kind of paint scratch right there a couple more scratches on this driver's side a couple little dings and dents right here in the same spot as the other side back here in the back seat um there is not like a thing to come out here for an armrest um you do have a couple little stains down here as you can see but you do have pockets on both sides so you have some little storage there you got a little 12 volt charger for people who are sitting back here and they have a little storage here on the side i've never seen storage like this before kind of cool and storage in the door obviously for cup holders there and then up here in the front so you're aware they don't have there's not the blind spot sensors here on these mirrors. You have that little extra mirror that kind of bubbles out in the, uh, not the fish eye. I oh, said the fish eye technically. So it kind of bubbles out so you can see those blind spots a little bit better. Um, these are going to be your mirror controls here, four window controls and window locks. You're going to lock your doors right here in the middle, actually, right, right above the hazard lights. Here's your trunk button. Uh, here's going to be your headlight controls and the brightness of your cluster up here. You got the uh, brights and the blinkers on the left, the wipers on the right. This is going to control your center cluster here. This is going to control your volume of your uh, aftermarket system here because this, all this stuff here, this actually doesn't work because they changed the system out. The previous owner did. You do have cruise control here as well. Um, RPMs on the left, gas level, engine temperature, speed, and like I said, this is all your information which you can kind of change up there. And we're at 131,000. So look at that, 400 miles off of what I told you before. I told you 132, we're at 131. So uh, there's that. There's an average little uh, mirror here, flip down for the brights behind you. You got a microphone which goes with your uh, aftermarket system. Here's a little microphone button there. Probably to help you if you have, when you have your phone hooked up by Bluetooth. Um, climate controls are down here. Um, you have the climate, climate controls down there. You got your, this is the gear shifter here. There is no backup camera on this, but you probably could get one put in if you wanted to aftermarket wise. You got a 12 volt charger, a little place to hold coins. And then there is the aux cord and USB charger down there as well. Um, the glove box does not have the owner's manual in this one, unfortunately, um, but I may be able to get me one. I don't know if I can or not. Anyways, that's this vehicle. Let me know if you guys want to come up and take your first spin or anything when you're on your way to Idaho, um, since I know you're not here in town. If you have any questions, let me know. Whatever I can do to help you out, I'd love to. Thanks, man.